Hello, this is Pete Dulac, K4QHR from Kingsland, Georgia. Going to be showing a brief video on how to program a DMR radio. Now note the Motorola Connect systems, the High Terra, the Tai Terra, Yezu, all need to have pretty much the same settings pertaining to the digital contacts, receive groups, zones, channel names, scan list, etc. But today I'm going to be showing with the Motorola CPS and programming the Motorola XPR7550 portable. One of the first things you need to do getting into DMR is to obtain a radio ID. It is a requirement to get on DMR. First thing you need to do is go to the DMR Mark website. That's www.dmr-mark.net. Once there, go to Contact Us. When you select Contact Us, come down to User ID for my radio. Scroll to the bottom and select user registration. Once you get here, select your country, your call sign, your first and last name, city, state, just like it shows. For the home repeater call sign, you want to select the DMR repeater closest to you or the one that you will be using. I have noticed people putting their own call signs in there or putting a call sign for an analog repeater. You need to put a DMR repeater in there. The radio type. I know some will say, and maybe previous Generation 1 radios, you would have to have a separate ID for every mobile and portable that you use. That is no longer the case. You're better off just choosing one radio ID. So you can select either mobile or portable, whichever you have, doesn't matter. So you would select mobile, put in your email address, and tell them a comment about yourself. Been a ham for two years, you're a new ham, you're 40, you know, been in the ham radio for 40 years, whichever. You're trying your getting to DMR, a new mode. You know, just give them a little brief comment about yourself. Put in the capture, showing 104 here, and click register. I've seen these things come back as fast as three minutes. It may take a couple hours. But they are relatively quick on getting a radio ID back to you. So if you put in, you know, your email address, they should email you, letting you know your ID. You can also go into the database select database on here put in user table and type in the call sign that you choose for example put my call sign in there click search if you see it pops up three my main ID is five you know 3054 for my radio I chose two extra IDs mainly because I bought two extra radios that I have that I use as loaner radios. So if somebody borrows one of my portables, they, they're not popping up on there with the same user ID that I use. So you want to go into your radio. Once you open it, click the general settings. Now granted, CPS for the Connect systems and Terra and Terra are going to be different, but for the most part, you have to enter your radio ID. Here you see I chose the radio name. I chose my call sign with the model number. Put in the radio ID, 3113054. The buttons. Every radio has the option of programming user-defined radio buttons on there for depending on what you want to do with them. If you see, for example, I have the brightness on the orange button. Select the top side button as deuce delete. 
front button one to scan on and off, zone selection, etc. You will set this up to your liking for the radio buttons. Text messages we don't use. The menu. You can go in here and select if you want to be able to edit the scan list from the front of the radio. Utilities, once you select utilities in a menu, you can choose whether you want talk around, turn the tones on and off, select the backlight, the backlight timer, etc. You can actually program different options into the radio for that, that you want to be able to edit through the menu. Security we don't use. Next we'll want to come down to contacts. When you select contacts, the digital contacts are what you're going to use for selecting talk groups. Down here where it says channels, you have your zones, like this one is labeled Kingsland, Georgia. And under the zones, you put in the channels that you want to have in your zone for your repeater. Now we can go in here So figure out what I'm doing here. Go back to DMR Mark and select on repeaters. You'll double click on the screen to zoom in. We're going to be working on the Kingsland, Georgia repeater today. So we'll select Kingsland. Scroll down and this will show you the name of the repeater. The Seabridge partner of DMR Mark. We are on the K4USD network. K4USD is owned and maintained by John Birmingham out of Atlanta, W2XAB. Great sea bridge. I'll show you here the frequency, color code. These are all the talk groups on time slot one, all the talk groups that we have on time slot two. This is where you could find information for programming the repeater. Some of the repeaters are not on the map. For, for example, we'll choose, let's see, this is Benel. For the most part, Benel is right. But you, don't, you can also look at the DMR ECS. This is the Sea Bridge out of New York that has some of the Florida repeaters on there. You can see the repeaters that they have. I believe there's a couple more that, that aren't on this list yet. But you'll see the Benel Palm Coast Florida repeater, Miami repeater, Bob's repeater down in Delray. Gives you the frequency and the color code on the DC, DMR ECS. That's www.dmr-ecs.org. It shows the Florida repeaters with their time slots and talk groups that are available on those repeaters from DMR ECS. So you want to set up your digital contacts. As I stated previously, you need to have a separate digital contact for every talk group that you're going to use in your radio. If you notice this one here only has one for now, it's worldwide. Once you select a digital contact, you name it. I always I always put the digital talk group number first. That makes it easier when you have a big list of talk groups. When you're selecting that in the channel list, it's a lot easier to have them numbered. I use digital talk group one. I named it worldwide. You have to come over here and put number one in the worldwide call ID. Let's go ahead and add another one. We can add another group call is like a talk group. Private call is if you, you would put in a user subscriber radio so you can privately call that radio. When you use group call, I will name this to local. This is just an example. I have to change the call ID to 2. 
let's add North America add group call we'll rename that three North America again we have to go up here change that to three so now we have three talk groups we can choose we're going to go down to the channels this is the Kings and Georgia zone I'm going to add another channel add digital channel I'm going to name this Kings for Kingsland local since we've seen on the DMR mark website that the Kingsland Georgia repeater uses color code 3 we'll come down here change that to color code 3 the local talk group talk group 2 is on time slot 2 we need to change this to time slot 2 scroll on down we put in the frequency 444625 since the offset is in here you would just select copy if you don't use the offset well your radio doesn't have this feature you have to put in the receive frequency and the transmit frequency scroll on down to contact name this is where you would select the talk group you're going to talk on select contact name we're going to use two for local you select your high power or you want low power whichever you prefer timeout timer I normally set mine at 90 seconds so I don't get too long-winded come down to admit criteria and select color code free follow admit criteria and that is it for the scan list you would have to come down to scan select list one you can rename that let's see we'll rename this Kingsland local so we just scan local channels on there I would put like local statewide maybe southeast in this list but right now all we have is these two so you would choose what you want to scan under this scan list since I named it Kings and local all we have is two channels so far in the radio so we'll say we're, we're gonna scan worldwide we're gonna scan local come back up here to worldwide <laughs> and under scan list you want to check scan Kingsland local go to Kingsland local channel scan Kingsland local and there you have it every repeater it is best to put every repeater in its own zone we'll go into channels we'll select add zone and I'll we'll name this for example Jacksonville Beach FL for Florida I always like to drag the channel pool to the bottom of the list so now position 2 is Jacksonville Beach we'll go in here select digital now you got channel 1's and this is where you would put in everything for the Jacksonville Beach repeater for analog we'll go into channels We'll add a zone. For example, we can call this one, let's say Jacksonville. Jacks analog. You right click on here and add analog channel. This pops up. Notice the channel bandwidth is 12 and a half kilohertz. You select 25 you have to have the entitlement key for the Motorola CPS in order to select 25 kilohertz for analog amateur operation scan list is set up the same if you want to scan a little different kind of like programming your analog ham radio put in your frequency 444.200 put in the squelch I use this tone squelch 127.3 PL and hit copy 
it'll put the transmit frequency automatically the TPL with the PL tone drags it over automatically now down here again you select your power level your timeout timer admit criteria this gets tricky you want to select the admit criteria under analog to always if you have it set to channel free if you're getting any kind of interference you know sometimes you put a radio in front of a computer or you're walking around a store you know some something interferes with that radio if it is getting anything on any kind of a signal on the receiver you will not be able to key up an analog unless the channel is free so you want to select always this way no matter what you can key up that radio pretty simple for analog not a whole lot to select uh, if you want to add talk around so you can talk direct by you know if you assign a button for talk around or you go into the menu and select talk around you can select that and that's really it like I said for scan list you would do the same thing if you would choose an analog scan list you'd go down here create a scan list give you a quick example go to scan add scan list let's say we'll name we name that jacks analog well since we didn't name that we'll have to go into the analog channel we'll rename this jacks 444.200 so now when you go into the analog scan list you can choose what you want to scan you can scan across platform if you want to put in a local DMR and scan analog as well you can do that so now when you go back in here under analog you select scan jacks analog so now when you are on channel 1 444.200 and you hit scan you will be scanning this analog frequency as long as the Kingsland local DMR frequency at the same time. Well, I hope this helped. We'll make another video on roaming and the received groups at a later time. Always save your work while you're making this plug. If you know your battery dies or something happens and you have a lot of a lot of work being done in this you always want to maybe every time you create a zone always save your work it's happened to me before being silly and making a lot of zones in there and then something happened with the computer the battery dies or whatever and all my work is lost i hope this helps if you have any questions you can contact me pete k4qhr at k4qhr at tds.net or find me on the air. Thank you.